Welcome back, Serum people, and Happy New Year. It is 2020. Thank you, my dear subscribers, for joining me again this year. Thank you for subscribing last year. And today, this year, we're going to have many new projects. This year is all about sewing, sewing, and sewing. We're going to be sewing many different projects. And starting off the year, I would say start with something very simple and very classic, which is the circle skirt. It's called that because it's made of a circle. Just the waistline is a circle, the hemline is a circle. This particular video, we're going to concentrate on drafting a full circle skirt and drafting a half circle skirt. The real difference between the two is a full circle skirt, your waistline measurement is the full circle in the middle, and in a half circle skirt, your waistline measurement is just half of a circle. So that's the key difference between the two. We're going to work out all the calculations here. Just in summary, I will just give you the calculations actually. If you want to see details of how we arrived at the calculations, you can visit my website. So let's get straight into the video. Now starting with the full circle skirt, the formula you're going to need is your waist divided by 6.28. That is the formula we are using. Now I want to point out that if you do it exactly that way, there is no consideration of seam allowance or anything. So if you're going to, if you're using a knit fabric, which can, you know, it's going to be stretchy, you can go ahead and just do a full circle skirt. It's not going to have any seam lines, it's not going to have any joinings, all in one. And that, you can use it that way. And you can use that type for also flares and peplums and circle sleeves and circle flares, all sorts of things and flounces. But for an actual skirt that you're going to wear over your body or your waist, and if you're using a non-stretch fabric, you might need to make seam allowances, usually at the back or at the sides, depending on what you're going for, so that you can put in your zips or if you want to add pockets, things like that. So that being the case, the skirt I'm doing today, I'm doing a standard full circle skirt, but it's going to have a seam allowance on the side, on the left side, so that I can put in a zipper because it's going to be quite fitted at the waist so that you can get into the skirt. That being the case, in my formula, which is waist divided by 6.28, I'm going to add the seam allowance measurement to the waist measurement first before I calculate. So my waist is 35. I'm going to be adding one inch for seam allowance which is 36, and that's the 36 I'm going to use, it. I'm going to divide by 6.28. So when I divide that by 6.28, I get five and three quarters. So that is for the full circle skirt. You're going to need your sheet of paper. You need a right angle. If your paper is not straight like this one, you should go ahead, take an L square, and draw in your right angle. Mine has a good right angle already, so I'm just going to use the paper as it is. You are working from one corner. Going to work from one corner. Now, the thing with the skirt pattern, you don't need to make the full skirt pattern on paper. If you're using paper like me, I'm not going to do the full length of my skirt. I'll probably just stop about halfway just to conserve paper. I can extend it or shorten it or whatever when I put it on the fabric. But if you're drafting straight on your fabric, go ahead and put in your full length of your skirt. So I'm going to call this like point zero at the corner there. And it's from that point you're going to measure down that radius. What we just calculated is the radius of the skirt. So I have five and three quarters. So I'm going to mark, mark out five and three quarters on both sides, on this side, and on this side. So I have marked out my radius. I'm going to mark out that five and three quarters all the way around, just a few dotted lines to get me started. Yeah. 
You want this edge to be straight. This little corner here, this should be straight. And this should be straight. Before you continue your curve, to a rough hand at first. So okay, I'm going to need to use a ruler. We're going to be starting from the waistline we've drawn in. I'm not going to put in my full length. I'm simply going to go as long as my paper will allow. If you're doing this directly on fabric, go ahead and do your full length of skirt. So I'm stopping about 18 inches where my ruler is. There. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. There. So I have my points marked out. Once again, you want to make sure that starting point is straight. Make a straight line, you square that starting point. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to mark the same length all around. I have 18 inches, so I'm just going to mark 18 inches all around. Try to fill it in and to use a slightly curved ruler just to help me along. That is my hemline. Next, you want to mark out your seam allowance. I'm doing that now because it's actually very easy to forget to add your seam allowance. Seam allowance is going to be added over the waistline. As always, I am using half inch seam allowance. So I'm just going to note that down half inch above my waist like that Okay, so there's seam allowance for the waist. If you're doing this on your fabric, remember to put your seam allowance now and also your hem allowance before you cut it up. This is where you add your hem allowance below the hem. You can do half an inch, or let's just say one inch. One inch hem allowance. Because if you don't do this now, I can assure you, you'll probably cut it out and forget. So just go ahead and put it in. Now this is a full circle skirt. It's also a quarter of the skirt. So you're going to actually put it on four pieces, four quarters. So I'm going to write place on four quarters. This is just to remind yourself how many times to fold when you're about to cut it out. I'll show you how to do that when we make the skirt, but it's good to write it down, note it out. So 
So that is our full cycle skirt. For the half cycle skirt, the formula is waist times 2 divided by 6.28. So similar to what I did in the full cycle skirt, I'm going to add my 1 inch zipper allowance, similar as first, to my waistline. So my waist is 35, I'll add 1 inch, that's 36. And I'm going to multiply that 36 by 2, that's 72, and divide that by 6.28, and that gives me 11 and a half. So 11 and a half is going to be our radius. Now while we're doing this, I'm going to show you a different way to cut out your circle skirt, which is where I normally do it, just to conserve paper. So 11 and a half. First of all, let's just do the radius. You can see it's longer, and that's because you're going to cut it out of two quarters of fabric rather than four. For the full circle skirt, we actually measure the length of the skirt and we cut it out. Now, a good way to conserve paper, what I usually do is, I'm actually going to keep only this part. I'm going to cut this part out, and when I'm about to cut my fabric, I'll put this on the fabric and measure out the length. So that's another way you can cut out your circle skirt and conserve paper. So I'm going to label this half circle skirt, and then I'll note cut two quarters because you're going to cut it out of only two quarters i'll show you what i mean when we sew so now we're just going to cut this out and that is going to be a pattern for your half circle skirt but if you want to make that full pattern like we did for the full circle skirt you can go ahead and measure out the length of your skirt from the waist as we did for the full circle skirt and cut it out So we have our half cycle skirt pattern, or if you prefer, you can cut it out completely like this. This is our full cycle skirt pattern. What you should really note is that the waistline for a full cycle skirt is smaller. It's, about, it's actually about half of that of the half cycle skirt, because this is going to cut out two quarters and this is going to cut out four quarters. So essentially when you cut it out, you're going to end up with the same waistline. It will make more sense when we sew. The next thing we're going to cut out is the waistband. I'm going to make a standard straight waistband for the two skirts. So we're going to just cut out one pattern. Now for the waistband, essentially what you just need is your waistline measurement. Mine is 35. And the width of my band, that's how thick the band will be, will be one and a half. Uh, 35 by one and a half. I'm going to make that double. It's going to be two, double layer. So essentially, what we're going to end up with to conserve paper again, instead of putting the whole 35, I'm going to actually draft half of that, and then we can just place it on the fold. Half of 35 is. 17 and a half. I'm going to extend this, I'll show you why. So first I'm going to note down where 17 and a half is. Okay. And from that point I'm going to add one more inch for a button overlap. So 17 and a half, one more inch. Then my waistband is going to be one and a half inches times two, that is three inches, oh, not down the middle, 
Nice side. Here. Here. First check that this is 17. And a half. And this is one inch. Okay. I'm going to just square all that together. This is the button overlap. Okay. This is going to be place on hold. Okay. That's really, I think I'll make this half because when we open it out, we need it to be one inch. So let me correct that. That should be half. So when we cut it out, the last one inch is going to be the bottom of the lap. So that is all right. So this is the waistband. This side is going to be placed on the fold. This is going to be on the side of the skirt or on the back of the skirt, depending on where you're putting your zipper or your seam. So we're going to cut this out. And that is going to just be our waistband. All this will make more sense when we sew. This is actually a fold line. Fold here. Okay? Because you have the, well, whenever you make waistbands, you have the main waistband, then you have the facing of the waistband, which we're going to interface with some interfacing, fusible interfacing to make it stiff. So you'll see how that works when we cut it up. And when we sew, so we're just going to cut that out ready for use. Let's label that waistband. Cut one. This is on the fold. So we're only going to cut it once. And then we have our skirts, our half circle skirts, and our full circle skirt. So those are pattern pieces. We're going to sew this up in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Good day. Bye.